thing if you can't tell. I got my kiddos in the back because, you know, mama got to do what mama got to do. My oldest is on that side um, to help with them. Thank God. Thank you, Ari. I said, thank you, Ari. I'm here to help too. Well, honey, I can't just leave you in the car. <laughs> but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You'll help Ari help me. Anyways, yeah, so I'm on my way. This is my third day doing this. The first two days, my husband came with me and he drove. I hopped out, hopped in, did all that. So this is the first time that I am driving and doing it. So we'll see how this goes. And I picked up two, um, I think the hours go like two hours in a, uh, a box or block or whatever. Are they breaking? So I picked up two of those. So we'll be going from 9.30 to 2.30, I believe. I think, um, of course, I'm, I'm going to stop in there somewhere. Um, get the kids squared away for lunch and stuff. But yeah, this is what I'm doing. And this is my other little side hustle until, you know, I can get things better. I still have some other stuff that I'm planning on getting done too. But between my regular job, doing this, trying to get my side business together, you know, doing what I can do. But I will get with y'all later if anything eventful happens. Hey y'all, I'm back. It is, I don't know what time it is. What time is it? 5.43. Um, I did the bite squad up until I, I quit it too. It was just ridiculous, y'all. I was getting like $5 orders and they were like 20 minutes away to drop them off. I think I did what, four, four orders? I thought it was five. I don't know. Maybe it was, yeah, it was about four orders. I made about $20. And that is all. And then like, to have to drive 20 minutes away and they give you no tip come on but anyways so and then I just went to go visit my cousin who just had a baby and sit with them and just love on the baby for a little bit but we are on our way home gonna have a simple dinner tonight I don't plan on doing bike squad tomorrow. If I do, it'll probably be the evening shift or something. And with the kids, I can only do one block, not two. I tried to do two, and it was a situation. Let's just put it like that. But anyways, yeah, today was not a good day. All right wasn't a good day but I'm on my way home anyway so I'm just tired I'll talk with y'all later oh. <laughs> hey y'all oh god I need chocolate it's me Tish today is what Sunday January 3rd it is about 2.25 in the afternoon. Me, Ari, and Papa are on our way. Well, I have some running around to do and they're gonna come with me. But first we're gonna stop to Dunkin' Donuts because I want a bagel. Oh my God, listen, I ain't got time for this. Are you gonna go? Okay, you're not gonna go, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they better let me in here. I need a bagel. Why do people do this? 
They don't even have the green light. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze through here. Oh my god. Okay, who's going in? In? I need a bagel. You can go in and get your bagel. Why I got all these churn in this car? Two. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, no, you said we're grown. Exactly. So that means you could go in. You know what? Don't have children. <laughs> they ain't worth it. Guess not. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, I guess I gotta go sit in the driveway. Hope my car acting crazy. But anyways, guys. I have been putting some stuff in motion about some things that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna bring you guys along with us. I'm not gonna talk too much until it is in actual process. Like, I've done it and I'm waiting for, not results, but for paperwork to come back so I can be legit. But today I'm gonna get some things because I need to make more soap. I need to make some more body butters for January. So I'm trying to think of different scents. I think the lip gloss and lip balm we're making this month is going to be mango. Or should it be pina colada? I'm feeling very pina colada. I don't know. I guess I don't know. This seems like March or summer. Pina colada actually seems like a summer. But, I don't know. It's either going to be mango or pina colada. Hmm, might be both. But, I want to be able to match the lip balm, the lip gloss, and the body butter. Together. And make it a, a deal. Or whatever you call it. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I got to go to the bank. I got to go to Walmart. I got to go to Hobby Lobby's. I got to go to Michael's. And we gotta get these eyebrows waxed. Both of us. Alright, so right now we're at Dunkin' Donuts waiting. I'll get back with y'all later. Alright, y'all. Well, I went to the store. I intended to video while I was there. That didn't work. So, we went to Walmart. We went to... Hobby Lobby's, but they were closed. So I forget. I always forget on Sundays they be closed. So we went to Michael's. I looked around there. I got some. I'm going to be making soap. So I got some soap to make out of there. Some stuff to make my soap. And then I got little baggies to put the soap in. Um... Now I need to find a tissue paper. I, I'm still in the air is how I want to package my soap. But I did get some little baggies to store them in. Um, and then I went and got my eyebrows waxed. Me and my daughter, they're in the house. I'm in the car by myself. But I did get my eyebrows waxed. They look better. Not that I have much to work with, but they still look better. So, a lot of stuff that I wanted to get, I couldn't find. My daughter wants to start this resin um, project. So, we were looking at some stuff in there. But, um, eventually, we're going to do that. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on Casey's creations and get everything. I need to do products for January. But the way things are looking, I have to order. So, I probably won't get stuff till, let me see, today is Sunday. I'll order tonight. Sometime this week, stuff will start coming in. And I have to work Saturday. So, depending on what comes in, determines what I can make and what I can't. But, um, yeah. So, hold on, my son. What? I'm talking to YouTube. So silly. Anyways, so yeah, um, whatever comes in determines what I can make. Try to get stuff made so we can start back going to the farmer's market out here. Um, 
I also want to try the Market of Marion at least once a month and try to at least get two Fridays into the farmer's market. Um, just trying to find my niche is the hardest thing. And like, I know people like my body butters, um, but sales just not where it is. And I don't know if it's my advertising on Facebook. Like a lot of people are seeing me, a lot of people are commenting, um, people are telling me they love my products. But it's just getting the sales. And I know it's a crazy time right now. You know, people holding on to money. Um, it's just the whole situation. So, you know, I'm going to trust in God. When I started this, I, I, I said I was going to give it a year and see what I can do. And I mean, I've done a lot, but not nowhere near where I want to be. Um... I did take off from my regular job most of December. Um, so that was less money coming in. Um, the reason why I did that was because I got upset of a situation, a client they had me go to that I took on trying to get extra money for the holidays. And I asked them about had she you know been um what's the word uh around someone with you know the situation uh the pandemic i guess i could say that but um they assured me she was fine and oh she's just you know under quarantine for precautions because she just got here from the hospital and all this stuff now mind y'all i worked with this lady that day for 10 hours and it was fine i mean my client was sick most of that time and you know there was oh she took her at you know, the medicine the client took was on an empty stomach, this, that, whatever. It was just a whole situation. And it was an excuse or answer for everything. So then the next day, Monday, I go to my regular client. They call me in the middle of the day to tell me when I get off work to come to the office. Not, you know, because the previous client has the thing. I'm freaking out. I have small kids at home. I have a grandmother I see about on a regular. Come on. This is one of the reasons why I didn't do long-term care anymore because it was out, you know, working in that, I was exposed to so many things like C. diff and MRSA. And I was paranoid all the time. I mean, I literally would come home and strip in the garage, and, you know, throw my clothes on the wash and run in the house, you know, trying to jump in the shower because I didn't want to bring anything home to my family, especially having young kids like that. And, you know, when they see you and you walk through the door, it's, they want to be all over you. But that's how it was. And then I decided, okay, no, private duty pays better and it's a little less stressful as far as all that goes but anyways so they tell me to come to the office to get the test i go after you know i'm like well should i leave now like should i even be here like half of the day is gone and they was like you know stay there you know i do i wear my mask at work or whatever even when i was with that previous client i, I wore my mask all day i wore my gloves you know, you learn in this business, treat everybody like they got something that they can't get rid of. And that's how I do. But it was just the fact that with that client, I had to stay with her all day. She ate in her room. We ate in her room. You know, she had her food. I ate my food, you know, whatever. And that just made me nervous. But thank God I took two tests negative so you know because i had to stay away from my grandmother you know i was worried about my kids because i am primary parent, the primary parent like my husband works long days so by the time he gets home you know there's only a few hours before his bedtime 
and stuff. So, you know, my hours, I'm, I'm, I'm around them more. I'm with them more. But anyways, um, that's how it was. And everything came out good. Thank you, Jesus. But I was so upset about the situation because I asked them and everybody's looking at, you know, like, oh, she's fine, whatever. And then, I don't know, I was just annoyed. So I'm like, take me off for the rest of the month. I'll come back January 4th. Actually, I wanted to just quit and <laughs> be like done with it. But, you know, I make good money and I don't have to work so many days. And right now I don't have weekend um, hours that I can work weekend. Of course, in a previous clip, you'll see that I started with Fight Squad. Um, I was actually supposed to be with them today, but my car is acting crazy. I don't want to risk it. So I canceled all my bike squad for this week, which is a pain in the butt because I need that money. Because we are, you know, trying to get a second car. Nothing fancy, just another car so we can have two cars. And, you know, we're probably going to get rid of this one and get something newer because we've had this car for a whole year and it has just been problems after problems. And I'm just over it. I don't want to have to get in my car and worry if it's going to crank. Or have my kids in the car with me and worried if we're going to get stuck somewhere. Like I say, my husband works long days. So, you know, we'll be stuck somewhere for a long time. But anyways. um, Yeah, so I know it's been a while since I posted anything. I've just been dealing with just <laughs> that whole thing. And then trying to get Christmas and then, you know, trying to make sure the kids get a decent Christmas. And, you know, I have older kids who right now, what do you give them? Money. So they can just buy junk with it or whatever. But I make them buy certain things with it before they just blow it. But, um, yeah, so <sighs> that's life. That's where I am. I go back to work tomorrow, January 4th, and just go from there. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a lot. Um, and I'm trying to, re what is the word? Uh, re retake or rededicate myself. I don't know what the word is whatever word i'm looking for i'm just renewing myself again it's january it's 2021 why not so i'm trying to get back on the exercising thing i am looking for a, a treadmill um that i can put on a patio and use that to as my cardio i have beach body so i'll be doing that i have a coach who I know this lady is so sick of me, but she is the sweetest thing ever. And she is just go get her. And I love her for that. But I don't, I don't know. I, I, I annoy myself. But anyway, I'm trying to get back on the track and I'm trying to plan out stuff. I bought a new planner and this planner is going to have household, business, everything in this planner because... I'm sick of having four and five planners, which we'll see how that go. I'll probably still go to the Dollar Tree and get a one for um, business because I want to be able to uh, upload more. I want to be able to do my Instagram and Facebook better and everything. So um, I'm, I'm trying to be on task. And, you know, it's 2021, trying to get that hustle going. Got me a second um, side hustle going, working on a third one, you know, whatever I got to do. I am 41 years old and I'm just now like just understanding life and just getting sick of the way things are. I'm just, I want more. I deserve more. And if I'm going to get it, I have to do it. And it was hard, you know get into this point i wish i was at this point when i was 25 but i was married uh with my first husband and i think i had two kids by then my mindset was different 
But right now I'm on I'm I'm on this boss lady grind. You know, I'm determined to get whatever God has for me. Um, I know I got to get back up on my Bible study and just making him the center focus of my life. You know, through it all, God come through every time. He never fails me and I fail him daily and it just annoys me. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, that's where I am. I'm just mentally trying to get things right mentally uh physically finna get my body back in better shape um i try and i give up i try and i give up but you know at least i try and i'm gonna keep on until i get it you know what i mean like i really need to step up my health so if you guys know of any pre-workout situation beach body has these shakes but i don't really care for them but um I'm trying to find a pre-body, pre-workout, something I can do. Oh, and January 17th, if you're listening, anybody out there, I'm trying to uh, do a retake, a restart on my health. So January 17th is my start date. I'm going to juice, like do juicing smoothies for seven days to start off. And I'm gonna try to wake up early, get my, I gotta figure out what time, like what's a good time to wake up early and have Bible study with God and get my workout in and just get my life in order to start my day. Um, I wanna get me taken care of, God taken care of early and just go from there. Um, Cause I feel like once I'm in tune with God and myself, everything else will fall into place. Like everything else will just line up or I'll be able to handle the obstacles better. So, you know, this is my life journey. I'm a mom, I'm 41 years old and I'm still trying to figure it out. And I try to preach to my kids all the time, get the education, everything you need while you can because you don't want to be 41 years old trying to figure it out but i thank god that i made it to 41 and i'm still able to figure it out you know and get what i need and i know life is short and things the world is changing things are coming to an end whether we want to believe it or not but uh i'm gonna keep striving for a better me and a better life until Jesus come and take us to heaven and we'll be carefree. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for listening to me ramble on. I know this post was everywhere. I'm going to get better. I promise. Um, and I will pick it up. What is it? Sunday. So hopefully by Tuesday or Wednesday, I have another upload for y'all. Hopefully we've progressed and I've done more <laughs> in a couple days and have more of a plan. So if anybody wants to join me on my retake, restart, you know, life journey, January 17th, let me know. You know, we can do this together. I don't mind. I need the encouragement. I need someone pushing me in my corner. Go, Tish, go, go, Tish, go. You know, it does make it easier. It does make it easier. But, you know, God is in control and he knows my heart and I am trying. I am really trying. But y'all be blessed. Have a good night. And I will see y'all on the next video.